show you why it's not a good idea to buy a Mercedes-Benz unless you're a millionaire. Who can afford to buy a new car when the ashtray gets full and it's just too much bother to clean it out? Or if you're one of those people that buys a new car every two or three years when the new models come out and you just have to have them. Well, are they expensive to maintain? Check out this bill on this Mercedes that just came from the dealer. $938.02? And that was mainly for an engine oil change and a fuel filter change. They did check the air and the tires and stuff, but basically all they did was change the oil and the fuel filter. And since the dealer wanted another four to five thousand dollars to fix other stuff, the guy brought the car to me, and I'm fixing the things that really need to be fixed for a lot less than that. You have to realize that these are extremely high-tech cars. The Germans have put technology in their cars often just because they can, not that it really needs to be done. Take the spark plugs, for instance, on this V8 engine. There are 16 spark plugs on an 8-cylinder engine. So each cylinder has two spark plugs on it. So you have to change two spark plugs for each cylinder, which of course costs twice as much, and these plugs aren't cheap. And okay, they say that two plugs per cylinder make them run better and work more efficiently, but I'm not buying that because Nissan and Ford tried that on engines years ago, and it pretty much was a failure. Because if you look here, this baby's only getting 11.9 miles per gallon, and I wouldn't call that very good gas mileage. So much for the more efficient engine design. And that's just the tip of technology in this car. Although this car is running fine and there's no check engine lights or anything on, I decided to hook up this high level scanner. And if you look at all the red faults as I go down, you'll find it's found a whole bunch of faults with the car. And just read the definitions of some of them Rear Sam. Rear signal acquisition and activation mode has a fault. Heck, you wouldn't even know what that means until you go into what the code is. Trunk lid ambient light is faulty, or the line to the component has a short circuit or open circuit. Now I ask you, do you really want a car that tells you that there's a problem in the wiring to the light inside the trunk? <laughs> and look at this doozer of a code. It tells you there might be a problem with the washer fluid pump, but if it's working okay, it tells you to erase it and then do a function check of the whole system. Even the computer knows that sometimes it's giving out squirrely advice. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't want a car like this. But if you're really into crazy gadgets, look at all these buttons on the steering column. Buttons all over the place. Look at them all. And I have to say that three quarters of the customers I have with Mercedes, they don't even know what half the buttons do. I had one over here the other day, and I swear it took me about half an hour to figure out how to open the gas cap to put gas in the car. <laughs> I mean, seriously, there's something wrong with the engineers that design these cars. I mean, I just don't understand what's behind their thought process. Now, over the years, I've had a few customers come to me, and they bought a used Mercedes and said, Wow, I got a great deal on this used Mercedes. To which I always respond, you think you got a good deal on a used Mercedes. The resale value actually is rather low because people have discovered they cost so much money to maintain that their value plummets radically after they're three or four years old. But I have to admit, I've had customers that enjoyed their Mercedes. They were all people who leased the car and got rid of it when the lease was over. So if you can afford twenty or thirty or forty thousand dollars over a two or three year period leasing a car, they're the car for you. But if you're like me and try to keep your cars forever, ten years, twenty years, even longer, stick to your Toyotas. This one's got the same color as the Mercedes anyways. So if you want to be a cool cat in a Mercedes, and you've got money to burn, go right ahead. They're great machines for fat cats. And remember, if you've got any questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel.